right, so I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this makeup look that I've got right here. And this is my Easter inspired makeup look. So it's a little bit different and I've been loving doing the more dramatic looks lately. Um, so let me know if you want to see more of them. Okay, so if you want to see how I did this makeup, I'll show you right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is just grab our eyeshadow base and I'm going to be applying this all over our eyelid. I'm just going to be grabbing my flat brush and this is by Sigma and E60 and I'm just going to be grabbing a white eyeshadow and patting this all over our eyelid. I'm going to go ahead and take this colour from my natural Too Faced palette. I'm going to grab that on my small tapered blending brush and this is the E45. And we're going to be applying this in the crease in little circular motions. I'm grabbing a little bit of a black eyeshadow and I'm taking this on the same brush and I'm just going to be applying this on the outer corner and we're going to take this and blend it into the crease as well. Grabbing an angled brush I'm going to go ahead and take a black gel liner and I'm using this one by Maybelline and we're going to be applying this on our top lash line. And we're adding a slight wing and what I do is I just line it up to the outer corner of my eye and drag it inwards and that's how I create my liner. Going ahead with the black eyeshadow we used before, I'm just going to grab this on the same angled brush and go over the top of the liner and this is just going to keep our gel liner in place and stop it from fading. And so now I'm just cleaning off my angled brush and I'm just going to be taking this really pretty brown colour and taking that on my brush I'm going to be lightly dusting this underneath my lash line. Just taking a black pencil liner, I'm going to be lining my waterline with this. And just curl your eyelashes and our mascara and then we're going to move on to the rest of our face. And for foundation, I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Lumi foundation. And I'm just going to mix this a little bit with my Photo Ready by Revlon. Just to get the right colour for my skin. And then we're just going to apply this all over our face. So now that we've done the foundation, I'm going to go ahead and take my Trick and Treatment Concealer and this is just a little bit lighter than my skin so I'm going to be applying it under my eyes, on my nose, chin and forehead just as a highlight. And then once we're finished with the liquids, we're going to go ahead and use a pressed powder and this is just going to set everything in place. To just add a little bit of colour to my face, I'm going to be going ahead and using a bronzer and I'm using one by Cast Cosmetics. And I know this looks like a lot of bronzer at first, but the key is just to keep blending and blending. And now I'm just going to go ahead and apply my blush as well. And then for lips, I'm going to be going ahead and taking my NYX lipstick and this is in Miracle. It's a really nice bright pink. And then over the top, I'm going to be applying a light pink and this will just kind of soften it a bit. Also, if you ever find yourself and you have a lipstick that you're not overly fond of, try layering it with a different lip liner or lip gloss over the top and you'll be surprised at some of the combinations you can come up with. So for Easter, I'm actually not 100% sure on the dress I will be wearing. For this particular look, I'm wearing this really pretty pink lace dress by Choice. Yeah, so this is the final look and I hope you enjoyed. If you're doing anything special for Easter, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Google+, and here on YouTube. And all my links will be down below, like always. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!